Welcome back. Maybe you've seen this floating around. One of the newest, latest health crazes out there is sea moss. And it's made into a gel that people are using on their hair and skin to keep it moisturized and reduce wrinkles. It's also believed to reduce inflammation if you ingest it. So, does it really work? We turn to Cleveland Clinic, where a dietitian and dermatologist tell us they have gotten a lot of questions about this stuff. I think with any type of algae, there's anti-inflammatory benefits, and we've seen that in things like spirulina. So once we get into anti-inflammatory, that's very high level. Anti-inflammatory, once you can start reducing inflammation, especially uh, chronic inflammation, um, you can help to reduce diseases, uh, you can prolong your life, things like that. Uh, now, again, it's too strong to say that if you have CMOS, you're going to live this, this long, glorious life, right? There's other components to anti-inflammatory benefits as well. It's rich in sulfur, and we know that sulfur has a lot of antibacterial, antiviral, and antimicrobial functions. So not only when we talk about gut microbiome, but also the skin microbiome, we know, you know that alteration between good and bad bacteria is crucial, especially when you look at skin diseases, things like acne and eczema and rosacea. So you know, ultimately, restoring that skin microbiome is really important. Now, both experts say it is important to remember that these believed benefits are based off of general algae-based products. There is no scientific evidence out there about CMOS just yet. And there are still risks, like with ingesting it or applying too much on your first try. Sometimes patients have this fallacy in them and where they will say, well, something looks good and it's trending and it looks like it's going to help my health, more will be better. Um, I, you know, Getting too much iodine can be really problematic, especially when you're on certain medication. Just because something's natural doesn't mean you can't be allergic to it or get irritation from it. So I always recommend when we're using something, especially that may have other preservatives or ingredients to do what we call a use test. So to put a pea size amount, you know, maybe along the jawline behind the ear, wait 24 hours hours to make sure you don't have a reaction to it before applying it to your whole face. The other thing there is where you're getting this CMOS. No doctors are prescribing it at the moment, so most people are finding it places online like Amazon.